He will still make his weekly trek to the PhotoLink library. Mike says we haven't seen too much in the way of brightness in the sky of late, but wouldn't you know it, he found some in your photos. As long as they don't get into your attic, squirrels are pretty interesting little characters. Richard Lievert of Eagles Mirror said he couldn't pass this one by. Diane Marshman of New Milford found one looking for a handout. Cheryl Brown from Troy found one that carried at least a bit of color. Here's one more from Eileen Chorba of Beach Lake, but let us digress, dear viewer, from cuteness to color. The kind of color we haven't seen much of lately, the kind that casts some warmth before it, as Sue McGinnis of Hawley found. A sunrise that brings a glow to the sky, as in this Cynthia Purcell shot in Cooper Township. Cheryl Brown of Troy found a sunrise just brightening things up over the next hill. A sunrise that paints the sky, making for great images that folks like Diane Hurley Long of Riverside can come along and capture. Of course, with every sunrise, there is a sunset. Whether we see it or not is a different matter. Glenn Patinato of South Abington Township saw this one. From Tom Frymeyer of Cogan Station, a sunset that turned the waves at Rose Valley Lake gold. Mindy Newman of Bloomsburg saw a very nice one at the Montour Preserve. Cynthia Rod of Catawissa thought this one reflected country living. Sunrise, sunset, anything in between. Take its picture and send it on in to the PhotoLink Library. We need all the color we can get. See you next time. I'm Mike Stevens. That does it for News Watch 16 at 6. Up next, we're